thought... I thought we injured him. Oh. You can stop resisting now. Victory is already decided. Surrender quietly. Enough. You will find. I don't do as my foes bid me. Foes? The enemies you seek. Huh? I know more. It's you. Oh, he remembers her? Return suddenly. You must be feeling confused. If we startled you, we're sorry. Everyone, please put away your weapons. Gotta do it. Mimi! It's okay. It's Kamaravi. He wouldn't attack a defenseless opponent. What makes you so sure? I don't believe it's consistent with the warrior's way you follow. Oh, warrior's way. So, because of her memories, she knows a lot about guts. him. Hmm. You must want something of me. I'll hear you out. I'll start from the end. We want you to come to the city with us. City? Which colony is that? Is it a colony? How to explain? It's a special place. Safer than where we are at present. Of course, we don't intend to hold you against your will or force you into anything. And what has it to do with me? What do you seek to gain from this? We want you to live true to yourself. True to? Explain. Someone once showed us it was possible to live life as we wanted to. We want to pass it on and let you be free. Free? Ugh. Are you okay? It's oh God. nothing. Who broke the mic? Just a little twinge. Could it be Miyabi's lingering influence? No, this is innate. I can't see through it, but it's fine. Maybe see my SL. I like how his well, hair is flaming. The P it could be from that. That pain was the price. What Kamaravi paid for freedom. Oh, his eye. Or maybe still does. Hmm. Just want to put a marshmallow on his head and like toast some marshmallows, make some s'mores. About what you asked of me before, I have yeah. one condition. All right, I'll toast some marshmallows. For now, we are traveling companions, headed for this place you call the city. Thank you. You will be welcome there. By the by, Kamaravi, how are you with height? I mean, we're like above the main ground. I think he's okay. In what sense? I thought you might be startled, so I wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, because we're flying. Hmm? You'll understand when you see it. We'll let you know once we're ready to go. Understood. I await eagerly. I don't think he's going to be scared scared, right? <gasps> so we do get him as a hero! Ah, you! Whoa, boy! <laughs> We it's so funny because in the chapter where we saw Kamaravi for the first time, I was like, oh, he's going to be a hero? <laughs> he dies. And I'm like, oh, I guess we're not going to get him as a hero. We and now we're having him as a hero because he's alive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am a leaf on the surface of a lake. I am a stone warming in the sun. Thanks. I am Momo in bed. I am the clouds on a windless day. I am the reed that bends but does not break. I am a potato that sits on a chair. Did he just black out? We've landed now. 
<laughs> I am Fazzy playing Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Someone who gets it. Yes. <laughs> I'm a fish. <laughs> I'm a fish. <laughs> Guess he didn't like heights after all. Oh, he... Oh, that's why he blacked out. Funny, considering how gung-ho he was riding around in his Faronis. <gasps> oh my god, I thought he would make it. He didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, okay, but... I don't think we should talk about the past in front of him. Eh, I think he'll come to it himself, maybe. He's just been born. And in a tenth term body. Oh, he's gonna die soon. Ah oh, man. I'm sure he just wants to focus on the here and now. What are you smirking at? Oh, just... You're a genuine good egg, Uni. Oh, Yeah, she is a good egg. Meanwhile, I have a bad egg command here. <laughs> huh? Where did that come from? Hey there! Hey, Travis. Uh, no more heroes, Travis. Man, am I glad to see you guys. Something terrible's happened. You won't believe it. Uh, d do we have to do a babysitting? Oh, but no word of it to the boss lady, yeah? My salary's on the line here. Do you even get paid enough to do this job? Like, how much do you get paid? 30k? That's a corker of a preamble, mate. You gonna actually tell us what's going on? Somebody opened one of the cradles. <gasps> Wait. When you say cradle, we're actually babysitting? <laughs> oh, it's Ethel, maybe. Oh my god, listen, I was just kidding when I said babysitting. You think it was an intruder? I don't know, but there weren't any obvious signs of it. The soldier inside has gone missing as well. Someone you knew, I gather. It's, uh... Ethel. <laughs> oh. Come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know, what's her name? Uh... With the silver hair. It's Ethel. That's it, Ethel. She, she came out because of Kamaravi? Wait, it's either they'll be very, like, good best friends, or maybe they'll be lovers. Mmm. You know what? Let's continue. Oh, why is all this happening on my watch? Oh, never mind. Now's not the time for reflection. Sorry, I see my own reflection through this TV. Or maybe I don't. If such is the situation... Kamaravi heard it. assist as well. Where shall we look? Uh oh. What? <laughs> um, we were just surprised that you were so uh concerned. Yeah, I'm concerned uh, too. Uh, like, look at everyone here. They're dirty. We need to fix also this. Also, recently of a cradle born. It may be some kind of fate at work. We're actually babysitting. <laughs> the soldier named Ethel. She may also find herself at a loss. So he didn't actually remember. He'll remember soon, I'm sure. And also, you, good sir. Huh? Me? You must be frightfully exhausted. Do not push yourself, please. Oh, that's so sweet! I want to give him a big fat hug. Hey, watch it, fella. I know I'm no spring chicken, but there's no need to rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. He's just been born. He's just been sure born. Didn't mean anything bad by it. I'm sorry. I know that they're adults and they, he's just been born. But like... Just like... <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, moving along. Movement in and out like of the really city is funny. strictly regulated. So if there weren't any incidents reported so far... Both the perp and Ethel must still be somewhere inside. Kamaravi literally born yesterday, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's first search for clues in the module warehouse. Why is this so funny? Good luck to you, whippersnappers. In the meantime, we'll take custody of the friends you contacted us about. They're called Mwamba and Hacked. What's gonna happen to them? They're not quite back to themselves yet, right? We'll give them a checkup, make sure they're all there. Yeah, um, you know, th give them a very good checkup. You know what? They might learn e sex ed by the end of this. I just know it. And after that, well... Uh... Keep them under observation, I suppose. Either way, you can leave them with us. We leave them in your able hands, then. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. They'll be safe as ours is. I'll be in the war room. Keep me abreast of any developments. <laughs> All right. Nice. 
I want to get Ethel back as a hero. I doubt it, though. Unless she just happens to, like, get out the cradle and she's an adult. I think that's different. Each day is... It's the Nopan. Kibibi, sorry. Sorry, so sorry. Don't tell me you lost her. We haven't even said anything yet. Kibibi, no, without saying. Friends come looking for naughty boy Kibibi. Oh, he Kibibi knows. Kibibi never meant to do any harm. Kibibi just... Curious? You want friends? Just want to enjoy a game of ultimate hide and seek. Oh. A hide and seek. What is that? So he's trying to make friends, it seems. Kibibi, go to jail! <laughs> no pot. <laughs> he just want to make friends. Not in the way that, you know, you think. Pathfinder? <laughs> yes, Pathfinder. It's ultimate pastime of daringly go and hide when not allowed to go. Oh. Daringly? Defying a prohibition? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I know this is just a game of hide and seek, but Kamarabi has no concept of what a game is, nor hide and seek. So. <laughs> I just love how he uses big words to define what it actually is. Could be please asking to not make scary face. So why did you open the cradle then? When get on panel, it opened by self. Oh, it opened on its own. And when it opened, go wake up. Kibibi, really, truly sorry. Why is this OST so, like, Im <laughs> so immense? <laughs> we get it now, so wipe your tears. Look, you're getting your tummy wet. Oh, now he's saying tummy. And what happened afterwards? Did you go somewhere with the Awoken Soldier? Oh, the music has mellowed down. QBB gets scared and flee from scene of hide. But can tell Morley or Leslie where she go. QBB think it direction of Centrillo Parade. Oh, I think she's just hungry. I am the morning mist in a pine grove. I am Mithrice growing across seasons. I am a Pokemon living in a human body. Me? Friend okay? <laughs> QBB. <laughs> no, QBB. You don't understand. He has a flaming hot cat fire on his head. You burn marshmallows with it. Don't mind him. He's just, uh, trying to maintain his cool. QBB is a felon. No! <laughs> Not QBB. <laughs> he came from the water tribe. Do you guys see how blue he is? I updated Travis on the situation. He says he's coming to collect QBB. <gasps> QBB's going to jail! Is QBB in serious troubles? I don't expect him to be too severe, but you will need to do some repenting. Damn. Oh my god, she's climbing. I barely caught you in time. Holy shoot, for someone who's just born yesterday, they're tall. You're not hurt. Mm. I think I know you. No. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I just can't see. Her voice is so anyway. deep. Kamarabi. She remembers? You're smoldering Kamarabi. Ethel, you recognize him. I have to go somewhere. I go have somewhere. to. But why? Take it easy. Let's take our time, yeah? We'll help you look. No problem. I thought she would be a small child. Mm. She's quite big for a child. <laughs> I don't know. I thought she would be smaller. I didn't think she would be like almost the same exact size as Senna. Passage of fate. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Ethel really is a baby. 
Babies always try to climb up to dangerous places. I mean, remember, Mo, they pop out like... At like, what, 10-ish? You call this 10 years old? She's... she's still like... Like, big for a 10-year-old. Yes. Aww... I'm not princess. My name is Ethel. Oh, I like that. She's like, don't call me princess. Just call me by my name. Love it. <laughs> Too precious. If you would consent to it, I will serve for the good of the city. I'm sure I have my blind spots, but I always complete the duties assigned to me. Oh, that's nice. I'll help too. Uh, but you cannot fight. I can be your eyes, though. I can eyes? see that which you cannot. No? Oh, that's true. She'll be your, your second pair of eyeglasses, sir. By the flames. Spirited, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Too spirited, I'd say. Look, let me bend your ear a little. You don't think it's going to work? It's not really my position to think anything. Right. Well, I'll try talking to Monica then. Oh, okay. F fine, fine, fine. I, I get it. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna get in trouble if you tell her. <laughs> I'll take care of Ethel, and instead we'll have Kamaravi help out on the combat side. That'll be perfect, don't you think? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh no. You're that scared of Monica. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm scared, all right. But I'm not just trying to cover it up from sheer terror, okay? <laughs> it's just that woman takes on way more than she should. I bet she doesn't know how to take it easy. So I figured, you know, I'd lighten her load by doing this much, at least. I mean, taking it easy? Good, sir. Gondor has not taken it easy. She called her a bitch queen. She has no right. She she doesn't know what taking it easy means. If she does, she has her own way of taking it easy. <laughs> your warrior's way is unimpeachable, sir. I will never forget your kindness. Be sure, the debt will be repaid. Oh, Kamaravi! You know who? You know who Kamaravi reminds me of? He reminds me of Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story 1. The moment he comes out of his box... <laughs> he does his... his... his toy spiel. Until he like, he realizes, you know, down the line that he's just a toy and he gets all like... He takes it easy and he starts learning things. But I get like Buzz Lightyear vibes come from Kamaravi. Which is really funny. Oh yeah? Well, make it hundredfold then. Don't get greedy, Trav. Oh, we're doing nicknames now. How about we start with Lieutenant Travis and go from there, eh? Aww. I am deeply indebted to you all as well. Don't sweat it. You are a toy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is truly a grave debt. Especially... Tyon. Said, I should live true to myself. I haven't discovered exactly what that means yet. Oh. But now I understand what you meant, at least. And am grateful to you for setting me on the right path. You were the source of the spark that set my flame alight. Thank you. Oh. Um. He's in shock. Tyon, he's talking to you. He's like, what? I can't believe this. I know. I just never in my life thought I would be on the receiving end of this kind of speech. Oh, uh, oh. The future. Really, it is a foreign country. <laughs> huh. I suppose it is. I'm sure in time you and Ethel will find it. The right path. The right code to live by. Yes. Until such time, I, Kamuravi, Remain ready to do battle for the city. The code that for he will... as well. The code that he will live by is... You are a toy! Buzz Lightyear from Scarf Man. Come in, Stark Man. Nice, we're done. <gasps> Don't worry. I have a close eye on it. Sarah. Ooh, okay. On Tyon. Oh, that's fitting. So that's the Becomes more powerful? Wow.
What is this? wish to utilize this thing of which I meant to dispose. Such daring lunacy. Wait a that minute. what I would dub it. I hope it this isn't main story stuff. Throw it away. There's always a use. Always. People, lives, the lot. We're gonna Why? fight Medusa? I stand corrected. Then, what manner of use is it that you have envisioned? The lost numbers. The city ruffians. You do know. No life can be harvested therefrom. Yes, I am aware. I... That's why I'll have my toy soldiers play a little game. A little game? The lives of the fallen will be amassed in this special flame clock. As a reward for the final lass or lad left standing. Oh. Mm. The cream of the crop of the youth competing for glory. Oh. Is that not simply sublime? I hope. Uh, oh. Oh. <gasps> it's that child. Oh my God! We get to see that kid back. Wait. Oh my goodness. So I hope her Oros Ouroboros is a, a literal Medusa Gorgon. Like I want her to have like snaky, a snake-like body. I want to experience juggling. Juggling life? Ooh, that's a good one. Hey, you! What are you doing back here? How many times have I told you no performing out here? Oh. Is he gonna do juggling? You shouldn't be wasting your time like this. Don't you have training? I'm not wasting my time. This is my job here. That's how he earns money. You call that a job? Street job. Hey, Street you're performer. Uri Boris, right? I've heard. I suppose my job doesn't really compare to yours, I'll admit. Why are they on your case? Street performance. It's not allowed on this road. Street performance? This stuff. Around this spot, this is where you get the best crowds. <laughs> but still, they like to push me around. Oh. We're at war here. Why aren't you fighting? They say. Do you not need to be fighting? The city's army is just for volunteers. Oh. There's plenty who are willing. Why is that? Because it gets you others' approval. Hmm. Yeah, well, it would, wouldn't it? You think so? You don't? Well, who decides what has merit? And whoever's making the rules, how do we know they're right? Hmm. How do we know they're wrong? <laughs> I mean, I don't really know anything. It's just... Uh-huh. I think... Aww. Isn't it fine if there's, like, one guy who makes the call for himself? You know? Even Aww. if it ends up being pointless. Hey, even pointless things can have a point. Down the line. <sighs> I want to live my way. Take it one step at a time, the way I want. Really live. Yeah. Oh, rats. Better scarper before the guards find me again. Hey! Tell you what. I've got a new trick. Just in the works. You should come and watch. Bye! I hope nothing bad happens to him. <sighs> you okay there? Can I help out? Nah. I'm all good. Mm. 
Lance! This alarm's worrying. Head for the war room. I wonder right. if he'll do street performing. Street performance. We never got to eat any torpedo wraps. Man is so good, he materialized Sorry, three more balls out of nothing. <laughs> right now. It's it's pretty impressive. That's how he makes his own Pokeballs. It's like going to another country and having a huge culture shock, right? The same concept applies. Like, you won't know how other people work around their country until you go to it. No torpedo wraps? No. No torpedo wraps. That explains the emergency assembly. When? Where? When, where, why, how, uh, what? Should we lend them a hand with it? Oh, by the way, Monica, um, Travis did a boo-boo. Uh, Travis, uh, oh, you know, he... Someone went into the cradles and unlocked Ethel from the cradle. Um, so she is roaming around, just letting you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I do have a box of mixing ingredients, too. Just don't know if I want to make it right now. Things used to be easier, huh? What was? All we had to do was bash heads. Mm. No thinking, no nothing. What about the dying part? You weren't scared? Sure, I was scared. But at least I knew what was expected of me. Wait a sec. You want to go back to that? Obviously not. Just saying how I feel. There's just too much snuff to consider nowadays. It's doing my nutting. I think you should try it sometime. This thinking thing might not be so bad. Stop making it sound like I don't. You just said it yourself. No thinking, no nothing. I was talking about before, you spoon. You spoon? Sorry. <laughs> Who are you calling a spoon? Call him a fork. Oh, shut up. If you're going to act like a spoon, of course I'm going to call you one. Uh, it takes one to know one. What? Let's just chill out here, you guys. Oh, God. Okay, then why don't you tell me where we are now? What's this region? Come on, spill. Uh, it's, uh... See? You can't tell your ass from your elbow. Doesn't that make you the spoon? Just because I slept through that class, if I've been awake for it, right. then... Things were easier. Then stay awake, you spoon! Yeah. We had everything handed to us. Back then? That's not quite true in your case, though, is it? What? You had thoughts. And deep ones at that. Oh. I can tell. When we're playing together. But you have, as well. I hope... we find an answer. Absolutely. We'll find it. I'm sure. Oh. Find our answer. I mean, the answer is to hold hands and walk. Lan's just a himbo. <laughs> Anything you say to him or do to him for the slightest of things, he'll get mad at you. You spoon. <laughs> is he a fork now? Is someone here a fork? What about a knife? Hmm? Hey guys! Mm. And Senna. It's an honor. I mean, this chance to do a op with you guys. What do you mean? We're famous. You're my heroes. Uroboros. I mean, I always knew a grunt like me could never measure up. Although, we all still dreamed of it. Oh. And now you're here in the flesh. Doesn't seem real. What's so great about us? Huh? Before this oh. op's done, we might have to kill old friends. How about it? Could you do it? Stab a friend? Lance! That's quite... I, I mean, that's... If you're here with some half assed notions, go home. Lance, that's I, really harsh. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I just got excited. Oh. They talk big, but... When shit hits the fan, they might just double cross us. You watch. Oh. You saying you can't trust us with the job? 100%. You never trained with our unit before. Never ever fought by our side. The way I see it, you're just some arse wipes who stole away what was rightfully ours. 
Oh, yeah? If I let you down, shoot me. In the front or back, I don't care. Jesus. Gee, thanks. Well, that's awful big of you, pal. Oh, I feel so bad for the, <laughs> the poor man over here. He, he just got excited. I'm sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have come. No, this is good. It's how you build trust. You can only begin once you've gotten everything out in the open. I mean, she's not wrong. Really? One of my dad's favorite lines. Wasn't it the same for you lot? Mm. Wow. Yeah, you might be right on the mark. I'm sure they'll settle down when they need to. They've got good role models today. That's nice. I mean, I feel bad for the man because, like, he got super excited, but Lance is also right. It's not something, like, Lance. the Ouroboros, like, puts on a high pedestal. They're, they're not there to... I mean, sure, they're there to win battles, but they didn't want the celebrity status. But, you know, this is one way of building trust. It's to work with them and to show them what we could do. Our intel was right. There's quite a few of them. But it's too quiet. There's barely any signs of life. Everyone's just dead? They're probably all conked out. The fewer sentries, the better for us. Monica, the cradles are in that transport. Yes, it's likely. Let's head down. If we go round from the right, we can approach unseen. Roger that. Can I... I wonder if I could drink this. Okay. Few unseen, eh? I don't think he wants my fa any fanboys <laughs> towards him. It's okay, the only fan he will ever fight. have is not only his friends, but Senna. What is this? They're all empty! Uh-oh. It's a trap. Monica! There's nothing in here! They're all empty! Son of a... Report! Same over here. We got cradles, but nothing in them. Hmm, that's not good. Monica? Did we... Did we just fall for a trap? Shoot. Uh-oh. <laughs> They've got us surrounded. Cavetti troops. Ah yeah. Well, doesn't it suck to be you? Every little oh step my you God. made turned out exactly as planned. Now us, we're an elite unit, the all stars of Kevets. You lot have been doing as you please for long enough. Holy shoot. Right here, right I'll now. Start. We're gonna correct that little mistake. <laughs> More credit than I thought. Layla and who? Sparks. They look like they're in their early terms. That means they got reborn. That adds up. This lot. Soon after they moved to Colony 8, I hear they croaked. <sighs> Don't dare look down on us, Second Terms. We were chosen. We are the elite. Now, I don't know if you're lost numbers or what, but you're in our way, and for that, your heads are gonna roll! You're all right. <laughs> Not choking at death, are you? <laughs> I think it's because of the garble. 
I drove the my tea. <laughs> Activated my trap card. No, not the lights. Hit the lights. Just finish them off already. I need that sweet, sweet light. <clears throat> they recognize him. Hurry, run them through. Go on. Kill him dead. That'll give me a good top up, nice and easy. He's crazy. You gotta love this new flame clock the console was kind enough to <clears throat> give us. It's a belter. Oh. It's a different color. Yeah, that is no ordinary flame clock. Back in my old colony, if some moron slowed you down, there was nothing you could do. Oh, you could kill him, sure, but you wouldn't get any life from it. But around here, that's all changed. <clears throat> here, life is the privilege of the strong. The final survivor gets to take the whole snuffin' cake. He's crazy. You get it now, do you? The weaklings need to be taken out of the running. So give me some of that <clears throat> sweet life. I... You mother. You can get call him. yourself the lethal you want. But do moderate your expectations. Holy shit. Uh, you're Scare the same him. as ever, Gav. Only ever thinking of yourself. Scare him! How are you gonna win against us like that? <clears throat> the snuff is this! No one told us about these monsters! You are not to hesitate. Holy Man. shit. <laughs> no, not the fun! <laughs> <clears throat> what? Are you... Show them what you're made of. Lady Consul. I should have known. Guess you can't have a Ferronis without a Consul, eh? My Ouroboros as well. I can't believe my luck. I suppose I ought to have prepared better still. A woman? You like my children? They're an anti-city special unit. One that I have diligently raised <clears throat> and lavished with love myself. It has been backbreaking to educate them so. They'll have to earn much, much more life for me before they're done. I hate failed investments. So you see. I'll take you brats out myself to protect Whoa. mine! Wow! That's Whoa. fine by me! Holy shit! She looks like... Hala? Hella? From, um... From Thor. Who is this guy? <laughs> He's... Uh, a child. He's only a child. <laughs> That's what he is. Sunny. Wow. I love this. The fast recharge. Like, look at that. Holy shoot. Alright. Boss's boss theme? I, it's amazing. What is this? Nobody told me the Ouroboros bombs were so horribly strong! Horribly? Why did no one tell me? <laughs> well... Dear, oh dear. It seems your grasp has exceeded your reach. Noah! Cut the flame clock! We gotta release Garb and the others! This simply is a spell! Bye. By H. What just happened? Mm. The, the consul, she... She just disappeared. Lady consul? Lady consul? What... What am I supposed to... Jesus! <laughs> Drop it, Garth! Your clock's gone. Just stand down. Uh. Peace. You don't have to fight anymore. Huh? No more stealing of lives. 
No more charity from consuls. What are you on about? Get snuff. You're talking out your ass. Don't have to fight. Fighting is all that we know. If we don't have that, then what the snuff are we supposed to do? Tell me! What do we do now? Uh, you could, um, I don't know, go home and play video games like me. <laughs> hey, need some help? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Nah. Been through worse. Oh, he has Man, respect. You guys, stunning. You're so far beyond us. Ah, uh, it's not a big deal. Aww. If you're one of us, you did just as well. Oh, that's nice. I, I like the relationship between these two. I think they'll be okay, those guys. What's eating you, Lance? Well, I just worry we cut them loose a bit soon. Tell me, what are we going to do now? How would I know? Mm. <gasps> you stop stealing lives. You guard them. It's simple. But the how is up to you. Got it? Spark? You can't do this to us. Colony 4. Know it? Yeah. I've heard about it. On your map, middle of the Faunus region. The lieutenant there, Boliaris. You can tell him we sent you. Try him. Helps to have a mentor, starting out. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, he will help. You know what's so funny? Like, I know it's it's like You gave him the info. Now they got a choice. Some might take it hard. Hold on. Besides, when we cut through the flame clock, it was to protect the city detachment too. There was little else we could do. If we'd meddled even more, it might have come right back round to bite us in the bum. We did the right thing by telling them about Colony 4. I think that was the best course of action. <sighs> Everything they believed came crashing down just like that. They'll be confused for a while, sure. But they'll figure it out. Just the same as you lot did. That's true. We might have gotten off lightly. If we hadn't met like we did in that valley, we'd be just as confused as those guys. Luck was on our side. Speaking of, back then, wasn't it Lance who was the most reluctant of us? Oh. <laughs> nah, nah, Let's nah. See. Our big man was just a bit shy to introduce himself in front of new people. He doesn't That's want to right. admit it. Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was. I did kind of get the impression that he was embarrassed to speak up. <laughs> right? Eh? Oh, uh, he's just a big teddy bear, really. He doesn't... <laughs> That's his way of acknowledging them. I was about to say, like, Garb is so short and Lance is so tall. <laughs> you really think you're gonna win against someone who's really, really taller and muscular than you? Really? Garb has such a big ego. Here, Lance. <gasps> Torpedo round! Double Arden me, Dila. Ah, thanks a bunch. Oh, uh, let's see. No tall spice here, but double veggies. Arden sausage, huh? That sounds good. But then, there's the tall spice sauce as well. Wow. Mm, fluff cream and skeeter syrup dressing. What delight. Oh, there's even chocolate sauce. How can I possibly choose? <laughs> I love this. Hard to believe, huh? Eating what we want. Huh? That's true. Is it enough? I want more. Oh. Dude, that's already pretty hefty. You really gonna eat another? I don't think that's what he meant. I think he wants more freedom. He wants to be free like this person out oh, here. Oh, hey. Whoa. He's pretty deep. Or have I got it backwards? Huh? Mm. 
Is he really gonna scarf all that down? In one go? Maybe. It has to start with me. Oh, he's gonna break some rules to help out. Adam Sausage. No, Arden. <laughs> Glad they follow up on the whole Garvel friend stuff too. I always wonder what happened to Garvel. It's just I didn't know like if we if he was one of the consoles, but you know, now that we've seen him, that uh, proves that theory wrong, and I could put it to rest. <laughs> 